voltage rate. All right. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Daniel Umstead. I am the owner of the Robert and Thandy Group, and happy Friday to you all. Um, even though every day should be happy, every day should be you know welcoming, every day should be thoughtful, every day should be thankful for, because understand that every day is that next day to get closer and closer to that opportunity. So a lot of people think that, um, oh, well, you know, it's Friday, I'm so glad I can focus, chill on the weekend, or... Stress like, oh, I gotta put in these hours in this weekend, or I gotta work overtime, so on and so forth. And come down to it is just the fact that it's like, hey, it's, it's just being happy. Just be happy that you're getting closer and closer to where you need to be at. So, um, with that being said, my name is Daniel Olmstead. I'm the owner of the Robin Nathaniel Group. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in uh, today. And um, if this is your first time joining us, thank you so much. Uh, typically on this channel, uh, what we do is we go over every single morning at 5.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for all my East Coast folks. Um, going over motivation, resume writing, and real estate. So again, thank you so much uh, for joining us this morning. So uh, motivation today uh, really boils down to... Um, you know, as far as, you know, what you should be accomplishing, uh, what you should be focusing on in life and pretty much getting that prep and start up to uh, get to where you need to be at. Um, I, I wanted to take a moment to actually go over um, your um, a lot of people say like, well, I don't know anybody. So I, I want you to look at your net worth today as your network. So. Who in your circle? Not so much that I want you to be knocking on somebody's door and be like, oh, you got to hear about this guy, Daniel Olmstead. He's asking for money, but he's really great. Uh, guy, no, this, this is all free advice. Trust me. I just want you to look at your network as your net worth. So, and they call that social equity. Uh, with social equity, um, it's pretty much based upon the people that you're connected with to get to where you need to go to. Um, I was listening to... Grant Cardone um, yesterday, and I'll be completely honest, I was like, oh man, what am I going to talk about today, what am I going to focus on, and there was like 20 million things, um, how to get started with commercial real estate, how to look to buy an apartment building, uh, where do you need to go next to find the um, OM, offer memorandum, uh, when you do speak with a broker, how do you sign an NCA, uh, <clears throat> non-confidentiality agreement, I'm like, Wow, that's a lot, but it's like, let me take from the core of what he was talking about. And the core was simply a story that he had. Uh, simply uh, the uh, story was um, that, uh, what you call it, people were talking about, or him and DJ Vlad, because it was uh, on Vlad TV, but him and DJ Vlad were pretty much going back in regard, back and forth in regards to who you know you know, to get to where you need to get to. And people that have a, um, not so much a, a poor mindset, but a poor thought process, you know, because I, I don't want you to think a poor mentality means that you're dumb, you're stupid. No, it's just a poor thought process as far as where you get to, because you just stop, you know. Uh, people think like, oh, well, I can't afford that. Um, there's no way that I could get inside that building. And come to find out, the person that you know could get you inside the building. A uh, person that you know could get you to where you need to get to. So, you know, so reestablishing your connections and figuring out like, hey, who do I know or who can I get in contact with to get me to that next step or that next level that I need to get to. So the story was simple. Uh, Greg Cardone, uh, one of his first deals that he was working on, uh, which brought him in a lot of money. Of course, he didn't say the amount, but he brought in a lot of money. And obviously, for a man who's worth, uh, I believe, three, over $300 million, And from what he said on the video, doing a million dollars a month and just advertising alone, it makes sense that the guy's worth at least $12 million. So numbers don't lie, right? Um, but, yeah, the story was simple. Uh, he was getting somebody started. Uh, he, Grant Cardone, he himself had the money, but the uh, individual was working 10 to $11 an hour and pretty much, you know, was barely making ends meet. But he decided to make a connection with Grant Cardone to get him where he needed to get at. Um, in addition, their combined forces, because the guy, what he was doing was 
the labor that um, a Grant Cardone didn't want to do uh, as far as checking on the property, collecting rents, um, seeing if there was any type of maintenance issues. It was just like, hey, listen, my money's into it. I trust you with it. You tell me what we need to do next to make sure this thing is official. So with that uh, social equity and that social net work, um, see what I did there. Uh, <laughs> No, but with your uh, social equity and who you know, think of it like this. It's like, well, I can't offer money. If I can't offer money, what can I offer? What talents do I offer? And for the most part, um, you know, if you're able to speak and uh, fluent English and such or um, able to communicate well with others, hey, that, that's something that you can look at as a target um, to benefit you to help uh, somebody who's got the do re me to assist or just simply and I say speak fluent English in regards to this I'm not saying that you're going to be need to make a hundred million calls for that individual it's just simply put how you're going to ask which is simply this I'm looking to get into commercial real estate I'm looking to get into apartment building I'm looking to purchase my first single family rental I'm looking to get out of my dead end job what type of leverage can I offer to you to benefit you and make your business uh, grow? Um, they talk about this in The Go-Giver um, a lot where it's like, hey, it's not so much uh, what you can do on your own, but what you can do to give because he found out with the more giving that he was providing, it was getting him closer and closer. So, And even from me to all of you, how can I myself, you know, I'm saying with the owner of the Robert and Dana Group, how can I benefit you guys? Uh, because I myself am looking to build up my social equity and, of course, expand my network. So um, with that being said, feel free to give me a call, 267-702-3756. If there's anything on your mind. The other portion of it, it, though, is, you know, just please understand. It's like, hey, if you're top five influences as they say or your top five people that you hang out with is not getting to where you need to get to then you need to step away from that and find individuals that do um and i know what you're probably thinking well, where do i go for that you know uh, it's pretty much just me eventbrite meetup uh check out facebook uh, i actually just joined a wine group and such and so your social, if it prevents you, especially if it prevents you, and nine times out of ten, a lot of these people who are doing investing are pretty much out of state, out of the country, or barely even around. Uh, so, because they're always moving and shaking. Um, I'm working with a buyer right now at least once a week. This guy is running out of town here, there, and everywhere. So, uh, my communication typically with them is via text or s simply over the phone in regards to properties. Um, but like I said, you got to figure out what you can offer to individuals by simply just asking them, what can I offer to you? So, uh, with that, uh, motivation piece, uh, just, you know, build up your uh, social uh, network. That's, that's all I'm asking. Um, and it can be through LinkedIn. Um, uh, like I said, meetup.com, uh, eventbrite.com, Facebook groups. Um, you can even find somebody on Instagram, um, and just continuously, building continuously building 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 up that uh network and network so um that's my piece on motivation uh get out there start connecting in regards to the uh religion tip i was thinking long and hard about this and i'm like hmm what can i discuss and with the religion tip um it kind of goes back to moi in regards to this and I want to uh, you to focus and think about when you are you know this is for my buyers and my sellers when you are looking and searching for a realtor to represent you in the purchase of a home or even uh, selling your home or helping somebody assist in selling their own home I want you to take a peek at in regards to where they're at you know where they at socially uh, with it are they somebody and this is matching up with you. You might just want somebody that's like, hey, low key, but been 20 years in the industry. Or you might want somebody that's vibrant, that's out there, putting their face out there on social media. Um, and so look at that um, aspect in regards to it as far as, you know, wh where are they at out there? So my realtor tip of the day is know your realtor. What are they up to? What have they been doing production wise and even out there? Um, and then the uh, resume writing tip of the day, um, 
actually, I, I talked about this before with LinkedIn and making connections, but this time utilize LinkedIn for what it's worth. Research the companies, you know, figure out the types of jobs that they have. Um, and this not only goes through LinkedIn, but also through their actual website. So if you see um, a company that you're interested in or want to be part of a company, hey, you know, uh, check out the company, you know, check out the recent news um, and see who are the top key players. You might even find yourself being connected with the president themselves or director of the company themselves to get you to where you need to be at. So those are my tips for the day. Um, feel free to tune in with me every single morning at 5, 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time where we go over motivation, resume writing and real estate tips. Uh, but again, this is Daniel Umstead signing off with the owner of the Robert Daniel Group. And as always, stay blessed, my fellow millionaires. Have a great day. Flesh led on the beat.